Today was the first day back in the classroom for Griffin students after last week's tornado caused widespread destruction. And 11 Alive's Karis Belger spoke with parents and school leaders about what it was like to be back as so many families are just starting to recover. Well, parents we've heard from say they are happy to see their kids get back to some sort of routine, no matter how small. And they even say their children have been looking forward to today as well. Russell World was one of many parents dropping off their children at Orr's Elementary in Griffin this morning. Emotionally, psychologically, just been sleeping all week because there's no school, so she really wasn't in a school mood today. His nine-year-old daughter hasn't been in school since the tornadoes touched down here last week. Today, the district followed an abbreviated schedule to slowly integrate students back into a routine. And they're educators. They know our kids sometimes much better than we do, so... I, I think it's I think it's best to do it that way around the city signs of the storm linger. Superintendent Keith Simmons says part of why he wanted to bring students back today was to check in with them. My thinking is no one wants to have a prolonged poor experience and if it's a poor experience, it's only a half day. If it's a good experience, then we can extend it on Monday. The district estimates the storm left more than 900 families and 70 staff members displaced. Simmons says he's hoping families know the district will do what it can to help. We're going to lean into assisting our city and county officials in making sure that our parents, our families have access to the information that they need regarding housing, um, you know, anything related to uh, FEMA efforts. Parents like Russell are relieved to see some semblance of normal. Oh, yeah good step in the right direction. District officials say they're going to continue closely monitoring students and providing help where they can, and they do hope to return to a normal schedule starting Monday. In Griffin, I'm Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. Yeah, a whole lot of people still recovering. Now, if you are a small business owner devastated by last week's storms, you can now apply for help. The Small Business Association just opened a recovery center at the Spalding Senior Center on Memorial Drive in Griffin. Now it's open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday and small businesses in all Georgia counties are eligible under Governor Kemp's emergency declaration. And this weekend, you can help people who lost everything in those storms by bringing donations to East Point. The city is collecting household items like water, blankets, bed sheets, toiletries, baby items to help storm victims in Georgia and Selma, Alabama. You can drop off those donations in the downtown commons that's across from the law enforcement center this Saturday and next Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m.